Are you a podcaster? Maybe you've got that big idea and you're looking for a network to join. The multi-award winning Ozcast Network can get your content to eyes and ears all over the world. Join now for the first month free and you could be featuring this sound at the beginning of your podcast. Ozcast. Simply head to ozcastnetwork.com for details. In a world where everyone says hello, they dare to say, yeah, yeah get out. Yeah, good day. Yeah, good day. Yeah, good day. Yeah, good day. Yes. Good day. Yeah. Good day. Good day. Yeah. Good day. Yeah. Yeah. Good day. Yeah. Good day. Yeah. Yeah. Good day. Hey. Yeah. Good day. Yeah, g'day Tim. Yeah, g'day Leon. Yeah, g'day everyone. Yeah, g'day everyone. Welcome to Yeah, g'day late nights with Tim and Leon. Ooh, and how late it is. It's a it's 11:03. Ooh, 11:04 p.m. It ticked over while I was saying it. The witching hour, if you will. Oh, it's another 4 hours off, but yeah, good try, mate. Good try. Tim and I have both had a uh, number of uh alcoholic Beverages, and we thought, you know, what would be a good idea? <laughs> Recording our some, weekly episode right now. Some would say that there's not enough time in the weekend to record, and so the best idea was to record late at night after drinking. After we'd been out drinking, yeah. Um, look, it was a, it was definitely fifty percent. We had to fifty percent. This seems like a good idea. Wait, what? <laughs> it's it seems fifty percent. We had to fifty percent. This seems like yeah, you're not wrong. What? Um, I uh, I have been uh, tucking into the vodka ginger beer combination. Ooh, yep. Um, and some grape flavored beer. Yes, we had Taiwanese grape flavored flavored beer. It was very good. Tasted like. Grape Fanta it was like mixed hubba, with beer. Hubba Bubba, yeah. I was, I was totally into it. The issue is it still tastes like beer, though. It was like, here's some Fanta mixed with beer, where you can yeah. definitely still taste the beer. Yeah, yeah. There was definitely still beer in it. I'm into it, though. I'm going to try and find it. I'm not, not into it. Tim, I love food. We all do. I like something that is full of sustenance. Yeah, something. Um, I, I I get what you're saying. I get where you're coming from. What you where you're getting at? <laughs> Do you get what? I'm, where you're, you're going? You're where picking you've down. Been. I'm putting up. Yeah. Um. Uh, I, something healthy is where you go. Yeah. Going. Yeah. Something healthy. I yeah. want to get. I want to get the same amount of nutrition that Brett Lee gets out of his 18 wheat bix a day, without having to scoff down 18 wheat. <laughs> Because so those dry motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> because I, the bowls are so big. Yeah, you know, so much milk How does he get it all in, in the milk? Is. Yeah, you got to like constantly you, be pushing it down get, into the milk. You get four milky wheat mix tops, and the <laughs> rest of them a dry <laughs> wheat mix. But the thing is, by the time you get to the bottom wheat mix, which I'm, <laughs> why are we laughing so much? By the time you get to the bottom <laughs> wheat mix, they're so soggy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to push on. We got to get to the topic of tonight. You put the sugar on the leaves. It's <laughs> dry. Yeah. Okay. No. 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 We got to. Pu- I'm going to push on solo since Leon society is going to lose it. Look, the subject of tonight uh, is one of Australia's favourite foods. We're, we're talking. We're talking sugary. We're talking. Uh, <laughs> not dry wheat mix. No, that's not the topic of tonight. We're talking about fairy bread. Fairy bread. Oh, you're right, mate. You've lost it, haven't you? Come on with help. I'm glad we're recording this. This is this is this was a mistake. <laughs> this was not an intelligent oh, move on our behalf. Look, uh, okay, fairy, fairy bread. bread. What is it? It's good. Everyone mm. in Australia is like, mm, yeah, fairy bread. I had it last night. Thanks for bringing it up. Everyone you, overseas is like, what the hell are you talking about? Do you, do you know that I had a uh, a friend in high school? <laughs> This is going to be another great story, <laughs> I can tell. I had a friend in high school, um, and she, Amy, um, some days for lunch we just have a fairy bread sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about what fairy bread is. So fairy bread is, and this is why we we're getting into the health food, fairy bread is white bread <laughs> with butter or margarine spread on it 
And then you just put hundreds and thousands, um, which I'm assuming people know what that is. Or, or sprinkles. Yeah, hundreds sprinkles. Of sprinkles. Universal, that's the universal But also just term. Uh, sprinkles. Yeah. I think I... Pre- oh. So it's, it's white bread with God, butter God. and sprinkles on the top. Mm. It's basically just carb with carb and then you add some sugar on the top. It's sugary carbs. Yeah. It's now bloody if, delicious though. Now if you're it? a dickhead parent... You can get some fucking wholemeal bread and just piss everyone off. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's not as good. I got Look, some you could go five grains here. Hundreds, hundreds, and thousands are sprinkles that are multicolored. But you could also you can mm. go down a chocolate route. You can do chocolate sprinkles. Uh, can you though? You can. Mm. I'm not saying it's good. It's I'm just saying possible. it's a possibility. Some people will also put in it. When we get to the recipe, you can replace the margarine slash butter with Nutella. Yeah, that's too much though, isn't it? Um, but Tim. I know what fairy bread is. I love it. I'm eating it right now as we speak. Yeah. What is fairy bread, though? Well, I've I've kind of told everyone what it is, but mm. where did it come from? Okay. Where does it go? <laughs> where, where did it, it come, come from? from? Fairy bread Joe. Fairy bread Joe. Yes. Um. So its exact origins are somewhat of a mystery, as most of these sorts of uh, fine cuisines are. <laughs> uh, Lemmingtons, all of these sorts of things. They kind of come out of seemingly nowhere and they're mm. just kind of around. What they think, though, possibly is that um, fairy bread originally, we're talking like late 19th century, was actually just referring to kind of a tea cake, which a, a tea cake is kind okay. of a bready cake, which we've learned recently off Great British Bake Off. Oh, I knew it beforehand. I knew it beforehand. Um, and that it originally may not have been referring to the sprinkles at all and it was actually referring to the cake. Mm. But fairy bread, uh, as we know it, was kind of first around the 1920s, but definitively by 1935, mm. um, it was exactly as it is now. Uh, I believe it appeared in, I wrote this down. Where did I write it down? It's got to be a Sydney woman. Morning Herald in 1935 recommended uh, it as a Christmas Day festive treat for children. So that by 1935, fairy bread was named fairy bread and it was as we know it today. The name fairy bread. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, where did it come from? Mm. Um, they're not 100% sure, but I, <laughs> they right. think it may have come from a poem by uh, Robert Louise Stevenson. Louise. Robert, Robert Louise. Louise. Robert, Lo- Robert Louis Stevenson. Before, just before you finish that, I've got to finish because be- before we, you were saying where fairy bread came from. And all the words that I got out was, it's got to be a woman. And then I let you keep talking. <laughs> yeah, what? So someone's going to be listening going, hold on. <laughs> it's got to be, a, I thought it had to be a woman's weekly recipe book. Oh, yeah. No, the I holy think so. grail of Australian cookbooks. The only documented evidence we have is 19, in 1920, it was in Hobart Mercury, which is um, their, the, newspaper. their newspaper. And then by 1935, it was in, yeah. Right. Was in the Sorry. House. Anyway, back to Robert Louise. Robert Louise. Robert What's Louis Stevenson done? of uh, Treasure Island fame. He wrote a um, a poem called Fairy Bread. Oh, that sounds good. I'm going to read the poem to you. Um, I'm ready. Because it's 10 past 11 on a Saturday evening. Ready and willing. Why not? Um, <clears throat> Come up here, oh dusty feet. Here is berry- fairy bread to eat. Here in my retiring room, children, you may dine on the golden smell of broom and the shade of pine. Mm. And when you have eaten well... Fairy stories, hear and tell. Now, I didn't get far past the first line of "Come here." Was it "Come here, dusty come feet"? Come up, dust. Oh, dusty feet. Oh, I du- think he's saying like, "Come on, kids, you got dusty feet." It means like they've been out playing. Hey, if, hey, parents. Number one, if you make wholemeal fairy bread, get out of here. Number two, if you, <laughs> you just run around in dust all day. <laughs> dusty. Yeah, it, it's a severe drought there. It's dusty feet. I um, just put this yeah. pile of dust on the floor. Um, so that's, that's where they think it comes from, possibly the name fairy bread. It does, um, but unless he mentions, uh, you know, a bit of white tip tops, the one uh, a fucking tub of uh, home brand table spread, <laughs> yeah. and eight hundred. It's actually named table spread. It's and not, eight kilos yeah. of sprinkles. Um, it's not. It's not fairy bread. Tim, if you were to make fairy bread right mm. now mm. for me as yep. a as a as a gift, would you use margarine or butter? I'd ask which one you'd, you'd prefer because I'm a good person. But I would usually hmm. lean to the margarine side. Here's the thing about margarine is that uh, 
it is far more spreadable than butter. Yeah, because butter's it's full difficult. of chemicals. Butter's difficult. And margarine has a certain nostalgic taste. Yeah, it tastes like um, fake, which is what but sprinkles like, kind of taste like as well. So it, you and it's I all aren't, suits together. You and I aren't. I know I, this will ruin the uh, the uh, facade for people, but you and I aren't Richmond. Oh no! Um, no, we don't. We can't afford world. butter in the fridge always. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. uh, I can barely afford margarine. <laughs> Woolies table spread is <laughs> yeah. kind of getting a bit pricey. I have got a friend who prefers table spread. Oh, we only ever had margarine slash table spread growing up. We never really had butter. So I've I've grown up a margarine man, <laughs> and you look like it. <laughs> I don't mind a table. Here's the thing, though: is that Christine had come over. Um, I, I mentioned the name just so mum mum gets a, a good. Uh, remembrance chortle out of it um, mm. is that Christine would come over and she would go straight to the fridge and go for the table spread. She loved the table spread. She put it on her toast and then put it on the, in the toast. Sorry, so she put it on a, in her bread and then she put it in the toaster. Oh, what? And she thought that was okay. And I was like, "You're putting a liquid in my toaster." Yeah, that's dangerous. But it gives it a good sheen. Like it's like when you make a um. Like Mum and Dad sandwich, went through you, so many toasters. You, you you put butter on the outside, or yeah, you don't put it. In a, you don't put that in a toaster. You put that in a set. You put in that jaffle maker. It's the same shit. You put it, it in a specific <laughs> anyway, model. Back to bloody fairy bread. Yeah, Look, no, it's sad. Where, oh, where would you find <laughs> fairy bread? Um, where would you go if, if you if oof. if somebody said, "I need you to go out." I'm not. You don't. You're not. You can't make it. You mm. can't buy it from a shop. Well, you cannot buy it from a you shop. Can't. You need to go out and I need you to find me some fairy bread. <sighs> Where are some places you check, Leon? Where would you go? Gosh, number one, obviously, toadstool, but that's a commonplace. Um, oh, yeah. You, number, they say if you walk around a toadstool three times, um, fairy bread will drop. Chanting um, the number 666. I would. Satan gives you. I would tickle I tickle the testicles of a drop bear, <laughs> uh, <laughs> see what comes out. <laughs> Hopefully, it's fairy bread. <laughs> yeah. um, but if I really wanted fairy bread. Um, Oh, like the, you you can't though you can't go <laughs> buy, you can't get fairy bread. Just unless, answer the question. But unless like, someone has no, made I mean fairy like, bread, yeah. Well, that's no. I'm saying you can't make fairy bread. Like, okay. If I say not? I want fairy bread, you can't make it for me. You have to go and find it. Where would you go to find it? Like to any number of houses around here that has children and just hope there's a party on. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Get some fairy bread. A kids party or a, yeah, or a, a kids party sorry, or a yeah. holiday party. A or kids party like. or a picnic um, or something. Yeah, or an adult party where you, you have fairy bread. Yeah, any any Australian party. <laughs> it's an incredible. They have it at wakes too. It's fucking weird. <laughs> Someone <laughs> yeah, died. Yeah. Like fairy bread. I'm so sad. I'm sorry for your loss. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> sorry for your loss, Margaret. Is this margarine? <laughs> Did you use table spread? Yeah. Um, yeah, you have to, you, you go to a party because you can't. It's not. It's it is actually the kind of thing that in Japan I feel like they would um, they would put it in like they put it in a little plastic container and ziplock it and sell it. But you can't. Yeah. Get it. The thing about yeah, you've got to be careful with fairy bread. You've got to eat it at the right time. If you leave mm. it too long, oh, it starts to get stale. Um, the bread and the sprinkles. Sprinkles get stale. Part which of is the, weird. yeah, part of part of the beauty of fairy bread is its freshness. Mm, you yeah, have to have it fresh, yeah, straight off the um, kitchen table. You, know, you got to get you got to get red food coloring seven when it's fresh. Or <laughs> yeah. There's no point in getting yeah. it. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, why? Where would you go get it? If I said I wanted fairy bread right now and, and you had no hands, where would you get me fairy bread? <laughs> it wasn't a test. I was, <laughs> it I was like trying it. to instruct people. Two men I would are go getting to the fairy same bread. Place. Both are on a train that is <laughs> at the station. I'd where go to like a, a, any, anything, like a, uh, a carnival, mm. a, like a school fete. There'd oh, definitely yeah. be some at a school fete. How much, would you, how much would you... What's he asking? The school fate. At school fate, yeah, for oh. a piece of one piece of like, and they're so also fans. They're they're triangles. You don't get a full slice. Yeah, the triangle. You don't get a full slice of bread. How That's much ridiculous? How dare you? How much? It's the only time kids will eat. Even the kids won't eat the crust. Anyway, how much are you charging? What are you asking? If how, I want for a one so triangle. okay, if a triangle. So if we're quartering each slice of bread mm-hmm. for one triangle, mm-hmm. or it depends on the quality. If you're if so, okay, so there's a difference between if I bought like a Coles eighty five cents loaf of, of white bread, or if I went all out and bought Helgers. Oh, you know or if you I'm went saying? to Baker's Delight and got some fresh, yeah, fresh white, bread, thick cut. Um, but Not probably I I think I'd set a standard price of between five and ten cents. You couldn't <laughs> charge more than that. 
Yeah, you do, you do a deal where it'd be like five cents for one or a dollar for eighteen. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it'd really escalate quite how quickly. Many, how often have you made fairy a dollar bread? for eighteen? That doesn't even work out. What? How often have you made fairy bread? I don't really make fairy bread ever. I, it's, it's always just kind of there when I go places. I'm actually going to find there's a picture of me on the internet that I'll find for this episode where I'm sitting at a table, my mum and dad's kitchen table, shirtless. Making fairy bread. Oh, what um, a gift to now, the world! Now you, you you hear that and you go, "Oh, Liam was five. No, I was about twenty, um, <laughs> and I I was just said that I'd take fairy bread to a party, and so I bought loaves and loaves. And from my memory, I uh, I cut it and I buttered it first. You oh no, you got rather than doing first. the whole. Sheet. It's quite a laborious process, it actually. Took hours. It's surprisingly because, like, all it is is bread. Then you butter slash margarine the bread, mm. and then you sprinkle sprinkles on. But you have to get the sprinkle consistency correct, and you have to get well, it consistent across the piece of bread. It's actually quite a laborious process but, to make a lot of fairy bread. But that's where the, the big question is: Do you sprinkle or do you dip? Dip because some people kind are just of psychopath a- <laughs> dips. <laughs> yeah. See, some people just get a, a big old Tupperware container uh, and they'll fill sprinkle. it with sprinkles and they'll just fucking dip bits in there. Jesus! But so you say who's that got the sprink- who's got the sprinkle budget to, you- <laughs> to support this pool of sprinkles well, to dip? Considering in? all of our mums probably have at least I don't know eight tins of sprinkles that they've just bought, being like, I might need sprinkles. Yeah. Um, I think that's actually the key. Like, I fucked up because I was a 20-year-old and I had no idea what I was doing in my life. You didn't very understand bread. the sprinkle game. So yet, I was yeah. sprinkling individual <laughs> pieces in that. But I think it might actually be the dip. The issue with the dip, though... The dip is probably more efficient, yeah. But then, you, but then your sprinkles get covered in margarine. You don't want to pre-margarine your sprinkles. <laughs> they, the colours run if you over-margarine They do. Yeah. And if you let... Oh, I just I don't I don't think people understand that sprinkles get stale it's until you've been at a party for yeah. three hours. There's an art to it. There's an art to fairy bread. It seems like a simple product, but it's really not. It's really not a simple thing at all. If you're at a party, mm. kids party, yep. you could either be a kid or an adult because we're getting to that age now where we can start going to kids parties as the adult. As the supervisors, yeah, yeah, or like my friend the other week was going to a twenty first, and I was like, if I went to a twenty first now, I'd be hanging out with the parents, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. fine. But like, if you went to that party, I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to give you four options: mm. fairy bread, mm-hmm. sausage roll, party sausage roll, please, ah, uh, yeah, party pie, or cocktail franks. Oh, Where do you go? No. Because in this instance, fairy bread is in the savoury category. <laughs> do I have one of those uh, paper plates that's badly lemonade? No, you don't, you don't even have a server yet. You, oh, whatever you... Oh. Whatever you've, got, you've got your two hands. <laughs> How hot are the cocktail franks? <laughs> oh, mate, you know that they are sitting at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> and you, you can't, but if you don't eat them soon, they'll get that. So here's the thing about cocktail franks. Side note. Cocktail frames come out of the boiling pot, which is fucking disgusting, <laughs> at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you leave them for five minutes, they become minus 10 degrees. <laughs> oh, yeah, they cool they down quickly. very quickly. So what do you choose? What um, do you choose? I, I'd walk down the table. Mm. As I pass the cocktail franks, I'd do a drive-by where I picked one up, <laughs> swashed it through the sauce, oh, yeah, straight cool it into the gob. Okay, third uh, degree burns. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, yeah, but I'd still gag it noise. down somehow. <laughs> I'd grab me a sausage roll. Okay. I'd also give it a quick dip, but quick I'd chuck dip. it into my other hand for later. Okay. Then I'd jump onto the. Uh, I would jump physically jump <laughs> yeah, onto, onto the table. No, I'd uh, I'd get into the fairy bread. I'd probably I'd what about stack pie? two, three. No, because if we're talking heat. All of these are really hot. I can't. You can't. The meat True. pie is going to be too hard. Meat pies are so. Ha- yeah. Okay. So how many fairy breads are you grabbing? I'll probably grab three because I want a lot, but three, I don't want to look. That's yeah. That's three, three quarters of a slice of bread. Yeah. That's probably where I'm at. Tell you what. And I'd probably come back for a cocktail, Frank, later again. <laughs> just swing I back do around. Them. Once you get to the end of the day, we'll just turn around and It's go just boiled meat and you <laughs> chuck it in some tomato sauce. Well, we'll do an episode it's about cocktail, Frank. Concept. They're not Australian, but it's Australian yeah. to have them. It's fucking um, disgusting, but it's so good. Tell you what. I um, I might have to go make it make, get a kid because I'm... <laughs> I, I, <laughs> okay. Make That's it, make a weird a way to say that. Because <laughs> I... Um, because it, when, when you become a... A parental unit. You get to eat kids' party food. That's true. 
I mean, we could eat it now. We just don't. <laughs> we could, but it'd nothing's be you, holding us back from it, making. We'd be all sitting these. around with alcohol and fairy bread, and it doesn't yeah. sound um, as uh, enjoyable. You got any other facts on that computer machine that you've brought down here? <laughs> um, not really, <laughs> okay, to be honest. That's good. In terms of research on fairy bread, there's not a lot to look into. Um, I was really surprised by the tea cake thing, though. That like mm. originally it was kind of a little bit more of an upper class. Thing, um, yeah. So that was kind of that was something. To be honest with you, Tim, I'm uh, I'm beyond surprised that we have made fairy bread last this long. This yeah. discussion about fairy bread, <laughs> we've done pretty well. Um, it kicked off with a good discussion about Weetabix. So no matter what country you're in, I'm going to make a large assumption you've got bread now. That's not a bad assumption to make because even if you're in uh, like a country that doesn't do typical loaves of bread. Yeah. You put that on some lavash bread, you put it on some uh some papadums, you put it on some kind oh, of bready papa, material. I mean, it would be disgusting on papadums. Don't right, put it on papadums. But no, you, they're bitter and it's but there's, not a but papadum there's, thing. Uh, put on naan. <laughs> I've none of that. There will be it's just find a bready material. Then all you need is a spread if you're lucky. You've got some home brand table spread. Yeah. yeah if you're yeah, rich, yeah. you've got fucking butter or, or nutlex. Can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> can't believe it's not butter in Murica. Then you get either hundreds and thousands or sprinkles. There's a difference. A sprinkle oh. is long and cylindrical. That's true. And usually of a uniform color it's harder to get that one in uh, multicolor yeah, well, i don't yeah maybe yeah sometimes you've got to buy multiple colors of sprinkle and yeah. just fucking mix them yourself. mix them up yourself yeah or get hundreds and thousands which are little balls they're the balls ones yeah they're like fly poo they're small little pellets yeah and then you put on bread to make yourself some but tell us what is, it tastes like and, but, and we already know i don't know why you're telling us tell us what you think it tastes like yeah, whether it's delicious or not but, is what and, i'm getting at and that depends on if you want crunch or not because a sprinkle it's not crunchy but 100,000 will break your teeth. <laughs> Especially if you leave it out yeah, for three You're going to want to do this when you have a dentist appointment already booked. And for the don't next you day. fucking dare make fairy bread the night before a party. You make it the day of. Yeah. Fresh. Abs- yeah, it's got to be fresh. It's got to be fresh. Some people use chocolate sprinkles. You, just, you don't fuck with what's good. All yeah. right, people? That's what I've always said. That's what, I've, that's what we've always said. Tim, <laughs> Friday, 24th of November, 2017, the year of our Lord and Saviour, Barack Obama. Yeah. Barack Hussein Obama. A lot of people forget the same part. Um, it's national. It's world? International. It's, it's s- galactic. Galac- <laughs> We're declaring it. It's, de- it's galactic. It's galactic fairy bread day. If they can say that it, we have Miss Universe and win it every year yes. in an entire universe, we can declare yes. this galactic fairy bread day. Yeah. It is fairy bread day. It is fairy bread day. So please, treat yourself. Now, if you were a Brit... Mm. Or a uh, American. Yeah, they are. They are referred to as those. Americans. Are the only two. Yeah. If you heard fairy bread, mm. I maintain you'd be picturing us putting some fairies on bread, like some fucking metal shit. Yeah, I guess. Because we're also we're savages down here. They think we're we're yeah. out of, we're out of control. And things are not in control. Got drop bears, koalas, cassowaries. <laughs> yeah, and we're just grinding up. Fairies and grinding them on bread. Grinding up, yeah, maybe. That's grinding totally on what fairies. it is. Tim, what's that sound? It's something. It wasn't just me kicking the bells next to my feet. It's the Harold Holt Watch. Tim. Yes. Now, it's not the first time ever, because every time that we do a Harold Holt, someone has written in. That's guaranteed. Yeah, that's 100% true. Don't. Question is on that you and because I are, you're not you're going to regret it. If you you and I it. aren't good writers. We couldn't write. We couldn't write no. the stuff that comes in. No, I've never written a thing in my life. You don't can't. even know how to write. I can read very well, but in <laughs> writing, I don't have control of my hands. <laughs> you, you, it, the, sa- the, the same reason you can't write stuff for our show. You can't write the jokes that they do in the Country Music Fifty First Awards. Oh God, we watched that today. Because that was those jokes. Let's are, not get into that. Otherwise, we're never going to get to the Harold. Timothy Holt watch. Green. Yeah. Ali. Shit my pants, chance. Ah, yes. Alley of the uh, poop pants clan, yes. Or shit my shant shant. Shit yeah. my shant shant. Um, gave us Harold Holt for this week. Okay. What you say? What also, you... let's just tickle her pickle and say Tomahawk. Can you say that? 
Tomahawk. There we go. Supposedly it's the town she lives in or some shit. Oh, she lives in Tomahawk? That's yeah. a sick name for a town. Yeah, she was stoked. She's like, you said the name of my town last week. And I was like, Did when? <laughs> yeah. Remember when we were just read? Well, we were referring to Tom, a hawk. Because <laughs> why would we have said no, Tomahawk? No, we were talking about the Tom, uh, uh, Moonlight oh, Joe's Oh, actually, yeah, axe. that does make sense. But yeah, Tomahawk's an awesome name Man, for a town. Man, if I, if I had a pet hawk, I'd call it Tom. <laughs> this is yeah. Tom, a hawk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's sick. <laughs> His friend, Greg, at Eagle. That's not good. Greg anyway. Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Eagle. Um, she my pants, Chance, writes in. Yeah. She says, I'm pretty sure... I've seen him, capital H, oh, him. obviously. <laughs> For our Lord and Saviour, Harold. <laughs> I've seen him in the reenactments on the TV show Lawless about Bush Rangers. Oh, he's got himself reenactment work. That's hard to get. Now, we did, we did ask for more detail and it did, it, did, it did return. Oh, good. I think he, capital H... May have been one of the police officers in the Ben Hall episode. Oh, Bush Ranger. Benny. We have not touched yet. Yeah. One of the police gang that shot him, Ben Hall. They shot Ben Hall. Mm. And one of Captain Moonlight's victims. Oh, he played three roles? No, it's two roles. No, Wait. it's one role. It's one role. He played a policeman that captured Ben Hall and shot him. And then he was also that a station same police manager man. who got. Um, who was one of Captain Moonlight's victims because it was a station manager who turned him away. That's Maybe two he has roles. two roles. That's two roles. This guy would have got a pretty hefty check for his involvement. Well done, Harold. Now, let's... Uh, now, uh, Harold is trying to evade our, our, our notice. I think he's trying to hide in plain sight. He's getting in with the bush rangers <sighs> the thing, and stuff. Tim. Yeah. I think he's. I think he's been listening because who isn't? Like, if you're not listening to Yeah Day, I don't know what you're doing. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, he has listened to the show and he's gone. If I hide with the Bush Rangers, they'll never know. But we will, Harold, because we've got eyes. Bloody oath. Got eyes everywhere. Every single where. Every, <laughs> every <laughs> up and where and over where. That where over there. Underwear. Around over here or this where. I'm so glad there's been another sighting, and I, yeah. I you know, I, I love. Every week when someone writes in to us that's real. Yeah. Um, that's, that's always a real, a real treat. It's a real treat. Um, Thank really... you, Ali, for your wonderful uh, wonderful tip off. And your shitty pants. Harold, <laughs> uh, keep auditioning, bro. It's it's a hard industry to make it. It seems like you're doing well. Keep it up, though. It's all about the tenacity. It's I all about keeping it up. So can't wait till he plays Alf's brother in the Home and Away reunion oh, show. That'd be incredible. Tim. Yes. What a great episode. What a great episode. Ah, fairy bread. It's delicious. Some would say it peaked at the discussion about Wheat Bix. That was probably the best part, which is awful because it was two minutes into the episode. Welcome to Um, After the First Jaeger Day, where we break down the episode of Jaeger Day we've just recorded. Yeah, yeah. Um, What I love about... uh, What are we talking about today? Fairy Fairy bread. bread. Yep. It's rainbow colours. It is the rainbow. It's, it's the connection. rainbow. It's the rainbow connection. It's rainbow. It's unity. Mm. What else happened this week? All about unity, sir. Yes, vote. the Australian plebiscite came back. We got a yes vote. Overwhelming, sixty-two percent yes. Uh, all around Australia what said yes 78? to what? What was it? Seventy-eight percent? No, seventy-nine percent people uh, sent in their votes, and sixty-two percent of people around Australia said yes to. Uh, right. We would we would like uh, equality. We would Marriage like equality. equality yeah. So we, it's just it's just plain equality. We like equality. Yeah. We, we, yeah. We don't, no, no. Equality in general. Yeah, we we stop. want, but uh, for this particular one, it's marriage equality. So um, yes. hopefully and, by the end of the year, that's something we will have. That would be brilliant. And and there is there is we're not going to harp on it. We're the wrong people to talk about it. Um, mm, mm. But we got a yes, and it was very exciting. Yeah, it's a great great step in the right direction a step that should have been taken a long time ago but it's a step in the right direction is it a great step in the right direction or the right step in a great direction tim a bit of both i reckon oh both so it was good uh that's been a good week tim uh if if once you once we're done here and you're gonna go up to your room you're gonna think yeah what the fuck am i gonna do with the rest of my night you know no i'm gonna go sleep pretty much straight away i'm very tired clean your ears out pluck your nose hairs Instead, I'd recommend you do two things, Tim. Yeah. I'd recommend you open up your favorite podcatcher or iTunes machine. Okay. I would recommend you download every episode of The Magic Lantern. Oh, every single episode. 
Yes. Right. Hosted by Big Papa Cole and his significant other, I believe. Mm. Erica, I think. Mm. I've done my research. Uh, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just asking if you know. Um, Erica? And I hardly know her. <laughs> and, oh, <laughs> That's God. a good drunk joke. And you're, <laughs> and you're going to download that and you're going to listen to it and you're going to learn a lot about film. Yeah. Um, and you're going to get passion um, and you're going to have a good time. If you haven't listened to Magic Lantern before, get onto it. I've got a badge on my bag that f- it glows in the fucking dark. That's the level they're on, people. <laughs> yeah. They're on a whole other level. This is the kind of shit they do on that show. <laughs> it's edgy. Um, <laughs> but they talk about they talk about good uh, films. They did, they did an episode that I listened to a long time ago because they asked us to listen to it um, about uh, Van Diemen's Van Land. Van Diemen's Land, yeah. Um, I listened to that and it was... it's it's. It's always interesting listening to other people talk about Australia. And I, I read a very, that movie. I should watch that movie. I don't think I can watch it. There's a lot of... It's make a lot Stan, of sound sure. about people eating. Um, but once you've downloaded The Magic Lantern with our good friends, I would recommend you download another podcast called Court Appointed. Uh, you can find that in Audio Boom, where we live. Um, that mm. is hosted by our good, good friend, Tommy Smell. Mm-hmm. T-Smell. The original yes. T-Smell. The, the original T-Smell. Original T-Smell. Rigid-ige. Yeah. Um and his bro in law, Michael Meadows, Scampy Mike for any of those that play along. Um mm. that is a podcast about the law because Mike is a lawyer and a dude and Tommy is just a dude. <laughs> yeah. Um is the is the slogan. But yeah, a good, so a good dude, yeah. Another good one that I listen to and it makes me it all it, br- it brings me it makes me happy because I yeah. It's just like hanging out with friends. We're getting at that point of our drunken evening where, where we both want to go to sleep. We're both quite sleepy and neither of us are making a ton of sense. I am very but It's eloquent. been a fun it's been a fun recording session. Yeah, I was I thought we'd gone off the rails with that wee big sling and uh, perhaps it was a mistake for us to record. But we've come back around. We've informed the people of the finer points of fairy bread. Uh and no, it's been a really it's been really rewarding. It's been um raw. I've really loved my time here. It's been yeah. deep. I haven't laughed as hard as I did about Weepix since we named our dragons. Yeah. Sausage Marine. Was that sp- about Weepix, the dragon thing? No, like I haven't oh, laughed right. as hard since, since Sausage Marine and uh, Bodacious Slither. Bodacious Slither, yeah. I should remember that. We both got them tattooed. Um, yeah, the dragons uh, were tattooed. We didn't yeah, get we tattooed. Didn't. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been, it's been, it's been good, but I'm ready... Oh, I'm down. I'm down to sleep. Ready for a nap. Uh, we're also part of the Ozcast network. A lot mm. of great shows on there. Badcast, One News Man, a Web Guy. Is this movie for you? Uh, Psychosynthesis, I think is the name. Psycho, Psycho, something. Um, good stuff on there. Oh yeah. Thanks for having us, lads. Um, <laughs> future Leon, if you're listening to this, sucked in. Yeah. Have fun editing this, mate. Enjoy yourself, mate. Um, and uh, I'm future still Tim, sleeping. you're not listening, so it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, I don't listen to uh, this. I only listen to good podcasts. Oh, hachi machi. <laughs> um, find us on yegaday.com. Find us on podcatchers of all sorts and varieties on the Android and non Apple world, but also find us on all of the Apple world. Yeah. Um, including iTunes and Come Apple and play. Podcasts. Come play with us. Um, I'd like to thank. The second tea smell. The second smell. Tea, tea smell the second, as mm. she's known. Mm-hmm. Taylor mm-hmm. smell smelly tea. Uh, for our uh, sexy cover art. Mm. It's a lot better than my actual face, so thank you for that. Mm. Um, I'd like to throw a thank you out there to my good uh, friend. Uh, uh, his name is Curtis. Uh, <laughs> I was going to go for this whole smooth thing, but then I, it turned into a very awkward yeah, stutter. It turns out your Richard um, Mercer becomes a uh, stuttery old man. It just, uh, I, I just want to thank you. Uh, no. Uh, Curtis Finance, Fern Tree Music, find his shit on Facebook. Good man. He did the introduction, the outroduction, and the Harold Holt watch. He helps us with all our musical needs. He's a bloody talented individual. And he went to the same high school as me, proving nothing really. That people go to high school and then they do things afterwards, I guess. In that one sentence, you did a bad Smooth FM Richard Mercer, but you also got Michael Caine for a second. You were <laughs> yeah. like, my friend Curtis, who Caine. went to the same school as me. 
Hello, I'm Michael Kane. He was um, only 16. Yeah, no, thanks, um, thanks, Curtis. Yeah, uh, no, on you, Curtis. And uh, yeah, thank you yeah. to everyone. Good, you mate. Good, you. Good, good, you. Good, you mate. And have a. <laughs> Have a bloody happy fairy bread day, everybody. Yeah, happy 24th. Um, we'll be, we've got a public holiday here in Melbourne uh, for the fairy bread day. They have a public uh, holiday here for pretty much everything else, yeah, so I don't see why yeah, not. So we'll take that one off um, and we'll be we'll be celebrating. Um, join our Facebook group, Yegaday Fans, because it's, how you say, popping off. Mm. Um, popping off like a fart. <laughs> or pop which off. Which is, yeah, pop off. Um, but Remember it, we used to call it pop-off? We're getting off track. We've got yes, to wrap this I do. up. No, that's not track too. That's very important to everything. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, a pop-off. But yeah, so uh, that's a good place to be um, if you don't follow us on all our other medias, but that's a good place to hang out. Tim just got something in his eye, I think. He's struggling. Oh, over no, there. I'm really tired. <laughs> I just hate this <laughs> podcast. I want you to get out of my face. Um, wrap it up, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to thank a long list of people. Very good. Mm. Tim, yeah, I know. It's been a fucking pleasure, man. Yeah, it's been all right. <laughs> it's been, it's been, it's been. Don't overdo it. How many wee pigs do you do? Uh, yeah, g'day, Tim. Yeah, g'day, Leon. Yeah, g'day, everyone. Yeah, g'day, everyone. Catch us all on the flippity flop. Are you a podcaster? Maybe you've got that big idea and you're looking for a network to join. The multi-award winning OzCast Network can get your content to eyes and ears all over the world. Join now for the first month free and you could be featuring this sound at the beginning of your podcast. OzCast. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details.